and my title is uh, Senior VP of Sales for the Walmart account. And uh, the Wichita office is, uh, or our home office is out of Wichita, Kansas. And this office here in Bentonville is the only satellite office outside of that office. I first came out and did a milestone, just me. So I wasn't gonna drag the team through something I hadn't tested myself. And so I came out and I did a three-day milestone and it was the best experience that I've had in years. This three-day milestone treatment for me was really a, and Dawn says this best, but it's setting your coordinates. You know, it's making sure you're headed the right direction. So those three days were very, very internally intense. And I learned a lot about myself and I learned a lot about how to lead a team that felt respected and valued. But what I learned that night was um, people first, product second. So I was chasing the almighty dollar with the best of the best sales records ever at the expense of the people. And that's backwards. You take care of the people, they'll run through the door for you and get it done. So we've turned into being just coworkers to being a second family. And that culture is absolutely unheard of with my experience. It just is very rare. And my group will jump through hoops for me because they know that I will knock down brick walls for them. So I've asked my direct reports. I have six direct reports and there's four or five milestones a year. So I was trying to get all of them through milestone within the first year. And when we go out to the Soderquist Center and I send these guys one at a time, um, they don't just become better employees. They become better husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, fathers. I had um, one of my guys, Josh, went to the last round and just enjoyed it so much. And he was shocked at how, how he saw himself differently through the lenses of the center. And he came back and I interviewed him after he got back and he went through some key things that he learned, things he wants to do differently with his life. And I checked in with him about six months later and I said, Josh, here's the five or six things you said you wanted to do differently as a result of Milestone. And I see you hitting on almost all of them. Here's one that I think maybe needs a little work still. And it's like, I can't believe you sent that to me. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me that we revisited that. Every time our, our world changes, Walmart changes, Coleman changes, our parent company changes, people change. Every time we feel something that's gonna rock our world, we pack up and head out to the Soderquist Center because that's where we get our roots and that's where we get deep, deeply grounded into who we are, what we're doing, what our sense of purpose is, the sense of belonging, the value of the team. We get realigned to refocus on that during that change because that change, if you're not deeply rooted, will knock you over. And we will never stop investing in Soderquist Center, never. That, that type of training and the leadership and the, the ethical servanthood side of the whole philosophy behind SodaQuest Center is what makes our team run like a well-oiled machine. Sheldon Coleman Sr. said, if you'll take good care of your people, they will make your business prosper. And it's true.